Hey guys, I'm Damesies. Welcome to the Omnic Recap. Earlier this week, we finally got a good look at the third hero that will be joining the roster once Overwatch 2 releases on October 4th. Kiriko. I made a video on that whole reveal. Go check it out. Kiriko looks awesome, especially in that cyberpunk skin. And from what I'm hearing, she is mighty fun to play. But as I said in the other video, I was slightly disappointed. While I was disappointed about her ultimate, that's the only place where we get to see the fox. I had hoped that we would have seen more fox fox elements in all of her kit, that she was some kind of companion, but it turns out that the fox is another bot type of companion. One that you get to see every few minutes, that dashes away, and that despawns without even saying goodbye. Nah, but seriously, I've always said that I want to see a hero in Overwatch that has a pet or a companion, and I had high hopes for this one, but I guess I'll have to wait. The thing is, there are a few other concepts that I would like to see in the game. Yeah, I'm greedy, whatever. In this video, I want to share with you guys my dear Dear subscribers, all of my friends, five types of heroes that I would like to see in Overwatch 2. This list is in no particular order and rather personal because there's a ton of other heroes that would fit the game really well. And if you know about any, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. I also want to mention that I'm looking at the complete kit, not just the ultimates. I also tried to stay in the boundaries set for FBS games in general and by Overwatch specifically. For instance, I would love to see a hero that uses a sword as their main weapon and not just to slice and dice enemies every few minutes. Blizzard apparently tried it with Brigitte, but I can imagine that it's not the easiest hero to pull off in an FPS. Although, Doom did it. Hmm. Anyways, I'm going to make this sword hero an honorable mention. But let's start with the first one. A rather obvious choice if you were awake for the first 60 seconds of this video. I want to see a companion based hero. Like I said before, I'm looking at the complete kit, not just the ultimate. So Bob and the Fox don't count. Sure, they have companions, but we only get to see them a few seconds every game. On top of that, Bob is basically a glorified turret. Die, buddy. Love you. And that fox? She can't wait to get away from you and to despawn. I want to see a hero that uses these companions as their weapons. Give me a Maximilian with two Doberman dogs. Or a Tinker that controls a little army of robots. The thing is, of course, those need AI. And I can imagine that they made some serious progress with AI with everything that you're doing in PvE. But in a competitive environment, you don't want AI to be the reason that people are losing games. Every Skyrim player has gotten frustrated at Lydia a little at least a few times. If you haven't played it, you don't understand. And the thing is, Lydia only messed up your interior, or she got stuck behind a tree. In an FPS game, it could be something way more lethal. You need full control over all your abilities, or you need to have AI that is better at the game than you. Wait. That's cheating. The second type of character is a totem based hero. I have played a lot of World of Warcraft in my day. A lot. And one of the classes that always fascinated me were the shamans. They could drop a totem and basically heal or buff their entire team or debuff the enemy team. In PvP and World of Warcraft, it was important to choose the right totems and put them in the right spot at the right time. And in between, you were just trying to gain resources or you buffed your totems, changed positions. It was an interesting mechanic. Pal Paladins has a hero called Grok, and he drops totems to heal his allies. Now, I haven't played him enough to know all the ins and outs, but it definitely felt like fun. Although it was slightly underused, I think there's more that you can do with that totem mechanic. Because one of the major risks with these totems is that they are stationary, while your team tends to move around, or at least they should be moving around. So they would need to be very creative with cooldowns, for instance. Or maybe those are not totems you drop on the ground, but some type of contraption that flies around. Or maybe you attach it to enemy players. It could make an interesting idea for a DPS. And it would actually make that meme there's a bug on your back work. Anyways, moving on. My next concept idea is Jekyll and Hyde. I know, Winston kinda has that concept in his own. He gets really angry. But what if a hero could phase between two different personalities all the time, depending on what they need to do? Hell, maybe they even do five personalities. Each with a distinct look and each with a distinct character. A nice mix between the controlled rage of Winston, the devious cunning of Moira, and the many, many voices in Junkrat's head. With the effects that we have seen in Overwatch 2, like the Genji mythic skin, I do think that they have the power and the artists to make a concept like that work. It would look amazing. And when it comes to the actual abilities, you can go as crazy as you want. At this point, you don't need to tie in your abilities to one single story or personality. They have enough personalities to go around for everybody. And they could make a nice friend for Sigma. Put those two together in a room and uh, 
You have magic! But talking about magic, the fourth one is a caster hero. This one is tricky. At some point, Jeff Kaplan stated that there is no magic in Overwatch. And that has been a point of discussion ever since. How do you explain the Shimada dragons? Or now the Fox Spirit? The idea has always been that all of the spells, the effects, the skills are based off technology, including the healing through music or shadow stepping. It is a discussion on which I'll be making a complete video somewhere in the next two weeks. Or uh, months. So stay tuned. But in the end, you could have a caster hero that has their magic explained by technology. Look, if Mercy can use his staff and the light beam to heal you, I can have my fireball. They did it with May. She is basically an ice mage. So give us some casters that use other elements or that use the weather to torment other players by giving them a sunburn. No? Right. I know, it's weird, but you get my point. A fire nado going over the payload will get people to haul. And it is a great way to get your barbecue started. Now the final suggestion is someone tied into that caster. But personally I find it a little more original. A sorcerer or a summoner. When I say it out loud it's not that original. But let me explain. A caster or a mage and a summoner are not the same. One shoots stuff out of their hands. Or a weird looking ice cream machine. The others will will things into existence. Think of Gandalf versus Doctor Strange. And just like Doctor Strange the hero could use symbols. To draw in items and creatures from who knows where. That would actually make a nice tie into my companion. Companion hero familiar. You can summon companions. Or maybe they should shout to command things into existence. That's the way I do it. And that's how they do it in Skyrim. Fusro, get your ass on the payload. Now they haven't touched on the whole concept of multiverse in uh, Overwatch. They did in other Blizzard games though. In Warcraft for instance. At some point you didn't know where you were. And I don't know if I want something like that in Overwatch. I think one dimension is enough. It also kind of feels like a weak excuse for a bad story. But on the other hand, it is a scientific way to explain a pack of ravenous bats flying at you out of a portal. Blizzard will find a way. I'm not here to fix that. I'm just here to drop random hero ideas that I thought of in the middle of the night or while I was reading the back of a shampoo bottle on the toilet. The battery on my phone died. It was gruesome. Anyways, what do you think about all of these ideas? And what type of hero can you think of that they should put in Overwatch 2? For now, however, that was it. Thank you very much for watching. See you during my streams on Twitch.tv slash TV or in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.